So one of the things that we're starting to do is we build logistic solutions for logistic providers, but instead of doing it where we give them this full on product as itself, it's very modular. So they get to break it down based on what exactly that they need and they get to configure it based on their business operations as well as their business terminology. So we don't want to disrupt their operations, which a lot of the off the shelves products are doing currently. We look at it more about actually being able to adapt to how they are right now, which is something that they need in the market at this point. As a lot of companies, small and medium, the small and medium guys at this time are looking at being able to enter and compete with the larger guys in the market of supply chain. Quincus itself wants to expand uh, in the Americas, in uh, Korea and uh, Japan, Katharina, and you want to grow your team in order to do that. But how challenging are you finding acquiring the top talent, especially in such a specialised field? It, it's definitely not easy. We are looking at growing our talent in many markets um, across the world and global. It's about putting ourselves out there and hopefully having people that want to solve problems just as much as we do join our team and being able to openly speak about logistics as we do in our q talks in our discussions in our media press um to vocally be out there as also as influencers so that others can join us in our talent to join our talent team katharina i've got to say uh pre-covid logistics operators they talk to good game about disruptive tech making supply chain bottlenecks of the type that we are seeing now a thing of the past. Why do you think AI, predictive data, and all these algorithms failed to prevent such a profound supply chain crisis? I, I think it's because at this point, the digitalization has only started to be important now. People have realized that technology can actually solve a lot of problems in the, in the supply chain. And because the supply chain is made up of, from many different markets and there's many different data is coming in from left, right and center, it's actually quite difficult to basically say, hey, we're communicating in the same language. So I don't think it's about being able to predict. We couldn't have predicted in time just because of how we're actually how the technology for many of these vendors that we have, as well as external vendors, are dealing with. So one of the things that we're doing now is making sure that we, they have a seamless platform where they can all integrate, whether they're external or internal. So it would be very difficult to say, yes, they would have solved everything by being on a platform. It's about working together, whether it's in shipping, freight, air, um, about combine, combining all forces into one and actually being able to see the supply chain as one as well.